Hello everybody! Feels like ages, but we're back to doing another item rain tutorial. And we're going to make everything rain down. Randomly, and make it look like it's falling from the sky. Now let's hop straight into the code. Basically, what we want to do is, when it starts raining, we want to start our timer to randomly drop items. Uh, start timer. Commenting is always good and we'll stop timer when it stops raining. And that is literally, literally, all the code. Um, so, we sh I'm going to be a bit cheaty with this code. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll do a bucket. So, get server. Actually, and we get the yeah we can get our scheduler from here uh, and then we'll go cancel tasks uh, cancel tasks plugin and then we'll just put in plugin just like that and then what we want to do is we want to go public item room plugin and we'll add a constructor uh, item rain i plugin equals i just like that what if we broke hmm. oh, we'll just delete that just for now um okay so item rain so we just have to pass the parameter of this and um, that will basically do that so next we need to create our timer so bucket dot get scheduler dot um, schedule repeating task because we want this to repeat as for the plugin that's plugin runnable we'll do that in a sec now uh, there are 20 ticks in a second so we want to run this a second and that's the delayed time so after starting it so you can put a minute so it would wait a minute then start the timer and that would do that interval so here we need to create a new runnable we're just going to do it in here and not an external class because we're lazy okay uh, delete that line because I don't like leaving lines okay in here what we want to do is it's raining in the world, so if we go event dot get oh. um oh, actually well, let's change that a tiny bit. We'll say uh, final world world w equals world. Then I'll just fix our imports. Now here what we can do is we can rain down. So we'll go for each player in the world, so player p in w dot get player. This is just going to be some more testing code until we randomly do this. And we'll just add random when this actually happens. We'll go p dot um, um, p dot, well, let's create a variable called location l equal p dot get location. Now what we want to do is we want to go world drop naturally l and then our item stack is going to be new item stack random, random material and that will create our, our random material class. Just like that. Now, this is going to land on where our feet are, but if we add, make it 10 in the high, this is going to be so laggy. But who cares? Okay, let's just, uh, oops, what am I doing? 
been a long time since I've done this. Uh, go. Item rain. Let's clean that. To item rain. Just like that. Now we'll start sir. And see if it explodes. I have got quite a few plugins on the server. Um, going. I just game it myself. Um, break out of here. Uh, it's quite horrible in this world. Uh, slime. Why do you have to be slimy? Oh, bugger off. Uh, difficulty zero. Time set zero. Okay. So, <laughs> once we've once we've got rid of everything annoying, we can go toggle down. Toggle it again. Oh god. <laughs> and it actually physically looks like the rain is raining down items. Hmm. Comparative. Thank you, rain. Okay, so I'll just disconnect before I kill myself because of the sound. Now, what we want to do is we also want to add a random integer to these. Um, what random do we have? Um, so we're going to say random. If we say 11, it's between 0. If we say 10 plus 1 in brackets, minus 5. This could be adjusted, basically, that's just half of that. And I'll make the method in a minute. Um click int random int h random r equals to random and then we'll just return r dot next int h just like that. And I'll just show you that that works. So let's quickly export this. Give us a reload. See everything explode. Okay, so toggle down full. Yeah, as you can see, we should, yeah, they're appearing in every uh, place around me. So, um, I think this is probably going to be the second last tutorial, because Basically, all you need to add here is if random between, I don't know, this happens every second, so we want it only to happen every possible chance of 10 minutes, so, uh, 
sixty times ten is six hundred. So it was a random one in know, six hundred. No, uh, then the chances of finding it, so we'll say 400 equals equals. Uh, if it doesn't equal, I don't know, let's put number 100, then continue. And that's that. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. In the next tutorial, we're going to make lightning a bit more fun with items. See you then.